Ron Melson is here, and, and Ron has to have uh, back wherever he you know keeps such things. He's got to have a hat rack with all of his different hats because he's got a Ten Pin Alley's hat, and he's got a uh, Northeast Missouri Humane Society hat. And this morning, and of course, there's the What's Cooking hat, and don't even ask because we don't know yet. Isn't that right, Ron? That's right. That's right, so don't even ask. But uh, this morning, Ron is wearing his Marion County Relay for Life hat. Ron, Ron, Ron Melson, good morning. Good morning, Harold. <laughs> After that full-minute full, full minute introduction. Uh, but uh, with, the, with the weather being what it is, it is nice to talk about things. This is not just spring stuff. This is summer stuff. Uh, the uh, Marion County Relay for Life, uh, and uh, the, the date has been set already for the 2015 edition. It's the first weekend in June. First weekend in June. So. Friday, June 5th to Saturday, June 6th. All right, so the folks need to, to mark that on their calendars, uh, June 5th and 6th. And do we know where yet? Flower City Park in Palmyra. Back at Flower City Park. Yeah, yep. that has, uh, that, that you just, as a venue, we've talked about that a lot before. Uh, you, you can't beat that as far as just the, 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 the venue itself, as far as everything that you guys do uh, during the course of the relay. For well, the thing people like are, is uh, you walking around concrete. I mean, it's some grass, but it's nice and level. And you got lighted bathrooms. Yes. And a, a nice hall to do the meal in for the cancer survivors, a reception. And if we get a lot of bad weather, we can move the whole thing inside. That's right. Yeah, you got the bicentennial building. There. Yeah. That, that works out really well. So that's uh, been quite a good fit. And uh, here in the last couple of years, of course, traditionally Relay for Life has been an all-nighter kind of a thing, and you've gotten away from that a little bit. Yeah, I think two or three years ago, the weather was real bad, mm -hmm. and we cut it off at 2 o'clock in the morning. Yes. Mm -hmm. And people liked it so much that that's what we're going to do. There you go. 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. Yeah, which is for a lot of folks, uh, I mean, that's, that's well past my bedtime, I know, uh, 2, two o'clock in the morning. Nine, there's, two. There's been, been a time or two along the way where that's been, that's when the alarm's gone off in the morning is 2, <laughs> two o'clock for one thing or another. So, yeah, uh, but uh, as we say, that's coming up, and uh, there is um, there is room for teams if the folks uh, have been thinking about it for one reason Absolutely. or another. Absolutely. You know, we, we've got a new uh, staff person this year. She goes at Canton. Her name is Catherine McDaniel. And we just had a second meeting Monday night. So we're a little bit late getting going. I'm not sure how many teams we've got yet, but I know there's always room for more. Always room. Yeah. There, there, always room for more. Yeah. They're, they're, they're never, you never reach a point where you say, I'm sorry, we're all full. We can't hold anybody. Else. That's never happened. <laughs> no, never, never. So don't, uh, yeah. So don't think that there's a, a point at which they're going to be full up. But the thing to remember is, so, let me let me say say this properly. Sometimes when there are events of one sort or another, people will just say, "Oh, yeah, day of, come on down." You re it really need, takes some advanced preparation if you want to properly field a team in the relay for life. Well, some of the teams you know that have been doing it a while have fundraisers year round. Oh yeah, I mean there are standing teams that are just they just do it every year. Yeah, mm -hmm. but. Uh, and you know they don't have to raise ten or fifteen thousand dollars. I mean, if you get in there and do a thousand or five hundred dollars, whatever the first year, there's just a lot going on to figure out how it works and what we're doing. We never turn down money. That's right. That's right. Now, is is there a is there a minimum amount that a team needs to bring to the table as far as to, to qualify for the to be in the relay for nope. life? Okay. Well, sort of. It's they. They sign up eight to twelve people on the team, right? And there's a ten dollar registration fee. Okay. So. Yeah. So they're if so they don't raise another nickel, they're going to give us a hundred dollars or whatever. Or whatever it might be. Yeah. Sure. So yeah. So there is there is there is that anyhow uh, for the folks and uh, and and as we say, I mean, this is something. Uh, if the folks are going to do this, they they need to be uh, getting in gear because, as you say, there is informational opportunities out there for the folks to learn what they all goes into. They have got so much paperwork <laughs> that they hand out now. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm thinking back to the first year we did it, and we just kind of flew by the seat of our pants, you know. Sure. And they just got more and more and more and more different ideas from different relays around the country. 
on how to how to raise money, how to do stuff. It's just amazing. Yeah, and this, this is this is how many now for Marion County? Nineteen. This is nineteen, nineteenth annual for Marion County Relief Alliance. I was just looking at a plaque out here from I think two thousand three. Mm, okay. So I know you guys have been doing it a long time with us. Yeah, yeah, we 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 do whatever we can, and uh, uh, they just uh, and we've talked again. We've talked about it before. This is something you would be hard pressed. I mean, I lost a, uh, an ex brother-in-law here just in the last few weeks to cancer. Uh, people would be hard pressed to not have been affected by cancer in some form or fashion. Yeah. I think everybody either has a relative or knows someone who's had cancer. Yeah. And that's, that's why you guys, why you're not only in Marion County, but all over the country, why, we do what we do uh, every year, get to get out there and walk around and, and just basically have Well, you know, the money goes for, for, of course, research and prevention and early detection, advocacy, uh, just other programs to help cancer patients. There's a wig program. Mm, yes. You know, they help, they help them put on makeup and dress up with a wig, and that looks nice. But... There's just a lot of different things. The same thing, they've grown and do more and more and more all the time. Yeah, and and the advances, uh, I mean, the research just continues, and uh, they make, you know, they, there are types of cancer that not too many years ago, uh, you were you were done, but not anymore. No. Yeah, for, for a lot of this stuff, and, of course, the no, object th of the game is to raise enough money to put you guys out of business. Yeah, it, that's it. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. But the numbers are going down of people with cancer or people that don't survive cancer. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes you give money to an organization and you kind of wonder what, where to go, what happened to it, did it work, you know. Mm -hmm. You can see this works. It's making a difference. Yeah. And and that uh, and you you mentioned uh, some of the things that go on during the the relay for life uh, itself and uh, you know that uh, uh, you have the, the reception and uh, for the for the survivors and you have the survivors lap to begin things and you know that that group uh, you know from what you t from what you just said uh, that group gets bigger all the time it people, does yeah, people that have won the fight or or are, are winning the fight mm -hmm. there's a, a, a caregivers lap. Yes. Now, sometimes they meet halfway around the track, and then they walk back together. Sometimes they go around it with the survivors. I'm not sure exactly how they're going to do it this year, but the caregivers are important too. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, they uh, they they're, they're, they do their yeoman work too. But yeah, I've I've seen it done a couple of different ways where they'll have the survivors lap, and then the caregivers will join them to yeah. to do the the second lap. But how however that's done, and as you say, the reception uh, and the, uh, even though there are, are definitely some moments during the course of the Relay for Life, the whole overarching uh, 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 theme of the whole thing is to have a good time, and you guys know how to have a good time. Well, it's a celebration at that point. You bet. The money's mostly raised. It hadn't all come in yet, but the money's mostly raised, and we're just out there having a party. Yeah. The the teams have got uh, they're selling food sure. and drink. T-shirts or yeah. whatever, you know, and uh, and then we have some uh, silly games. Oh yeah, I'm not sure exactly what they're having this year, <laughs> but I'll bet money on the lip sync and the Queen of Relay. Oh yeah, yeah, you got to have those. Those two are always in there. <laughs> That's right, the lip sync and the Queen of Relay. You betcha. Uh, so if the folks uh, are are thinking about uh, maybe putting together a team for the Marion County Relay for Life. Uh, uh, talk about how the folks can get more information. Well, of course, there's a website. Yeah. Or they can just call uh, Catherine at 217-740-1496. That's the number. And, the again, the date for the Relay for Life for 2015? Friday, June 5th to Saturday, June 6th. At Flower City Park in Palmyra. Right. That is the date for the 2015 Marion County Relay for Life. Ron Melson, we always appreciate the visit. Thanks, Harold. Ron Melson with the Marion County Relay for Life.